what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to hook up these two speakers to the pc with this fossi or fossi fugazi i don't know how you pronounce it uh mini bluetooth amplifier this is around 60 bucks on amazon it's very high quality i'm going to turn it around to show you it's only a two channel amplifier and I was coming from a Klipsch uh, PC speaker setup, so this had everything for me but the sub blue, and I wanted to replace the system uh, with speakers and a sub. I bought this uh, amplifier not knowing how to hook a sub up, and I realized there was no sub out to hook up a sub, so I did some research and found out how to hook it up to a subwoofer. So I'm going to show you how to hook up these speakers to the PC using the amplifier and also connecting to this sub. So what you're going to need, obviously a computer, you're going to need some passive bookshelf speakers or whatever speakers you want. You can actually use uh, cheap speakers like this that actually come off the Klipsch uh, PC set. Uh, they just have to be non-powered speakers, so that means they don't have an amplifier pa uh, powering them. So, once you find yourself a set of speakers you want, you can uh, hook them up to a powered subwoofer. And it has to be powered because this amplifier does not have a sub out. So the sub has to power everything. So it has to have... these speaker level inputs so i'm going to show you right now how to hook everything up but you have to have a powered subwoofer for this to work with this amp if you get an amplifier with a sub out this way is not needed but everything that i'm going to show you in this video what you need is four pairs of speaker wire the two that i'm going to hook up into the amp have banana plugs just to make it really easy to connect I used um, some wire strippers that I got off Amazon. This will save you a lot of time and frustration stripping the wires. It's very quick, very easy. Uh, the speaker wire I'm using, Amazon Basics 16 gauge speaker wire, 100 feet. I use this for my home theater as well. It's really good, really cheap. And uh, this Polk. PSW10, this is the best-selling subwoofer for the price on Amazon right now. I got it for $110. Um, so right now we're going to set it up. So, step one is going to be... Well, first of all, everything's unplugged. Subwoofer's unplugged. This is unplugged. So the first thing is going to be the connection to the PC. So this is actually just an RCA plug. I already have it hooked up to my PC, so this is going to go into the back of the amp. I'm going to plug that in. And next is the subwoofer to the amp. So, I already have these set up to make a easy installation for this. So let's see. This is going to go into the right speaker. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, but this is going to be in the right channel. And the next one, let's grab these. This is going into the left channel. one-handed is a little bit more difficult than both hands so once I have these plugged in I'm going to take the left channel and we're gonna grab the other end of it make sure you have the right channel and let's flip this sub up top so we're gonna put this 
into the speaker level input left. So this is going to be negative. Actually, that is the positive. So that's going to be positive. This is going to go into the negative. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our right channel. So we're going to grab these, make sure it's our right channel. Take them. And we're going to twist the ends just to make sure there's no frays or anything. Makes it easier to put in. Get the black level or the black line. Let's put it into our negative. All right, just like that. And then the positive goes in the positive. Just like that okay now that we have the amplifier hooked up to the subwoofer we're going to hook the subwoofer up to the speakers and that's what's going to power the speakers okay let's turn this around it's not going to be pretty but this is just for video purposes okay so I'm going to take our next speaker wire and we're going to connect each speaker. So, once I get this untangled, you want to twist these. Make it easier to connect in here. So, this is going to be let's go to the left channel first just because it's a little further away. So grab the black line and we'll put it in the negative right there. Let's do the positive. Okay, and then let's hook up the other speaker wire. Twist these to make sure they slide in easily. Make it easier on ourselves. Let's do the black one first, the negative, and then the positive. Okay, now let's go do the uh, left speaker first. Grab this, make sure we got the right channel. Now this one's going to go to the left speaker. So I'm going to bring it around my computer. I'm going to set it down right here. Once we have the speaker cable over here, I'm just going to turn this around to show you how it, simple it is to hook this up to the speaker. So we're just gonna take our connections. And these would work uh, better if you have banana plugs, but all of mine are used up right now, so I'm just using the regular wire and little screw option. Twist these so there's no frays. Making sure I have positive to positive. All right, now I'm going to set the speaker back, turn it around, make sure it looks good.
All right, now for the other speaker. We have the left speaker, and now I'm gonna do the right one. So I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna do this speaker now. Black to black. And red to red. Always making sure you don't cross the wires. Because that could cause a lot of problems that you just don't want to deal with. Alright. Now that's pretty much it. Now, everything's set up. This is how it looks. I have all the speakers connected. No need to use the line in or anything like that unless you're using a receiver or an amp with the sub out. So the volume, I'm gonna keep it on half right now. Uh, low pass, I'm just gonna keep it right there on the 80 hertz mark. And then I'm gonna turn the sub around. All right, that thing's pretty massive uh, compared to the clip setup. All right, now I'm gonna plug everything in. So here's the plug for the subwoofer. You plug this in here. The plug for the Amplifier goes in there. Okay. Okay, last but not least, I just have to plug the amp in. So that's gonna go, make sure it's off. That's just gonna go right here. I'm gonna keep my settings about in the middle just so I can mess with it uh, when it gets turned on. So I'm gonna turn it on right now and see what happens. All right, and then on the back of the sub, just gonna make sure it's turned on. All right, so everything looks good, everything's hooked up. And now for the audio test. I have some songs that I set up a playlist for for testing speakers. So I'm going to try a song out right now. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. Let's see how this sounds. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, now that everything's set up, I'm gonna t keep the volume pretty much on zero. I just have it turned on. I'm gonna adjust the volume as I uh, 
as I see fit after I play this. So let's see how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 